to. Yeah. Where are we going today? Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. Joshua are you actually Tree. Here? A tree. <laughs> We're gonna do a photo shoot, and I'll show you. I'll show you all the best. I will show you all the best places to go. Okay. First stop on our places to go in Joshua Tree is Casa Casa Market. Groceries, produce, meats, but. We are going into the taco store that's in the back and it's hidden. It's literally like a, um, what's it called? Speakeasy? Yeah, it's like the speakeasy of tacos. Stay tuned. Sancia. Now we're inside the grocery store and we have to find the hidden taco shop. I found taco supplies. I made a mess. I've made a mess. <laughs> you turn the corner and you come to this little taco area. It's not as hidden as I was imagining. Thought it was gonna be through like a freezer door or something, but it's so cute. Right here. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Give me an honest review of Casa Carne Sierra Factoria. It's bomb. I didn't know this taco place was back here. I was just here for groceries and then walked in the back and I found these tacos. They're amazing. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Jason. I have the quesadilla. It's delicious. We have some carne asada, some cheese, good texture, but also chewy. Perfect quesadilla. Wow. Now we are in Woo. Pioneer Town and it is spicy here. And by that I mean it's very Muy hot caliente. and humid. Muy caliente. And okay, this was created back in the 1940s and 1950s to be film sets for Hollywood movies. Gene Autry was one of the creators. So they put up a bunch of saloons and like horse stables and different things so they could film movies here. And over 50 movies have been filmed between the 1940s and the 1950s. And we are going to explore it and tell you if it's worth the visit. So far I say yes. So far, Pioneer Town, this is my favorite. It's a giant barn with books for sale. <laughs> Stop number two on Joshua Tree Trip was Pioneer Town. Friends, I need to hear your thoughts. I <laughs> thought it was nostalgic. Oh, good word, good word, Josh, Joshua. It's very hot out here, yeah. but we met some pretty friendly people. Talk to me for like five seconds. Mm. And also, um, there's no AC over here, but it's cute. Um, the barn was nice. The barn was nice. Yeah. All right. That's our official Yelp review. Um, please tune in. Keep watching. I'm wildly impaired. Another stop on my top five places to go for Joshua Tree is the Noah Purifoy 
Outdoor Desert Art Museum. That is a mouthful, but it is this really famous um, artist that was living during the time of the Watts riots. He helped build the Watts Towers, and now he made this 10-acre outdoor museum that people in Joshua Tree can come see, and it's all made of recycled outdoor materials. This is so cool. Let me show you. Wow, wow, wow. A bunch of old computers. <laughs> Some random old Now we're in a weird, I actually don't know, like theater situation. There's broken glass on the ground. There's just stuff everywhere. This guy was so smart and creative. Wow, Noah. There's a lot of really cool and also kind of creepy things here. There's like crosses, a fake graveyard, or I don't know if it's fake, actually. Hmm. Um, there's this thing behind me. What is that? I don't know, but it is very artistic. We have, what else do we got going on? Noah. Ooh, Adrian's Little Theater. I don't know if I think it's adorable or terrifying. Now we are in Joshua Tree National Park and we're doing a photo shoot with the sunset and the rocks. It's really pretty. Yeah, really cool for creatives, for hikes. There's hikers right there. Look at them, so active. Wow. We're on top of rocks in Joshua Tree National Park. And this is one of the stops for wildly impaired top things to do in Joshua Tree. <laughs> well, I'm going towards a thing that I can't get out of, but this is, this is the end. Okay. I'm gonna go down into that black tavern. We are at Coyote Ridge Stable, where there are the most beautiful horses that you can ride on trails from Morongo Valley. It's about 20 miles away from Palm Springs and right near Joshua Tree. It's a perfect little day to spend with your family, with your friends, go horseback riding on these beautiful animals. Wow, there's Today, all my wildest dreams came true. I got to ride a horse bareback with no supervision. Amazing. However, slight hives. Whoa! Oh, whoa! 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 Can't kill some shark. Death on a leaf! So, yeah, wildly prepared. Make sure if you're allergic to horses, take some Benadryl before you go ride them. If you come to Coyote Ridge, Sue, who owns this place, is the actual sweetest. She acts <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> sweetest. She's Swedish. No, I don't think she is. But she actually got kicked by one of the horses before we came, and she powered through like a champ, like a total badass. She's my kind of woman. She's the best. We'll let you ride, take you on trail rides, and it is absolutely beautiful here. Yes, what you